today's video is this TP-Link MC220L brackets UN gigabit SPF media converter part number 17065020030 uh, it's basically a fiber fiber converter but without the fiber built into it so a lot of these devices uh, you buy and the box has the fiber module kind of built into the the box here whereas on this one it's got an SFP slot for putting your own optic into. So the optic I have got looks like this, which is a BX20, or it's an S-1000 base-BX20 module. 1 gigabit single mode. So let's see whether we can get it going. Probably going to put this the wrong way up. I oh, know, that's the correct way into there. Good. The wall wart that it comes with is 9 volts, 0 0.6 amps. Just in case anyone is trying to find that info. don't actually know whether this module is compatible uh, and find out right well I mean that's on and it's got a light for FX and TP so I guess if I plug that in one of these will light up yep there we go so that's the uh, Ethernet side of it lights up so the next step is to get this partially dismantled Genexis FTTP router, which uh, you can kind of see I've nearly managed to get to bits, but before I get it fully to bits, I'm going to see whether we can get it to link up with this optic in this TP link. Hopefully, you can see the lights there and the router there. Got the lead which I need, which is an LC to SC connector so it's uh, different connectors at each end let's undo the caps on both of those and let's see whether I get a link which is the whole aim of this TP link device anyway if I don't get a link then I'll be disappointed It'll be a waste of a device and I won't have a use for it I don't have a fibre cleaning pen, so I'm just going to plug these in and hope. Let's uh, try not to snap or bend the fibre too much. Yippee, we have a link. So the link light is on on the Genexus FTTP router, and the link light is also on on this TP link. So I'm going to unplug the Ethernet, but if I try to do this while keeping it in shot and not having my hand in the way I unplug that fiber the link light goes out on both the router and on the media converter brilliant and let's just see whether that's hot pluggable that'd be interesting to uh, to try and plug the optic in yeah that works pretty well I'm set to uh, go about my investigations of this Genexus router. But hopefully that video has been useful to you. That was a demonstration of this... Uh, in fact, I don't know whether it's got any brand on it. Let's have a look. S. 1000 base BX20 TX1550 RX1310, which is the wavelengths which it transmits and receives on. And 
It's a 10 gig, uh, sorry, a 1 gig bi-directional or bi-di SFP and 20 km, 20 kilometer rated range. Don't think these things are particularly expensive. Uh, and they're used by some fibre to the premises providers in the UK and probably elsewhere. And what I was plugging that into to test was a TP-Link MCL 220L Gigabit SFP Media Converter. One thing to note is if you were trying to mimic this Genexis router at your house, straight into your network or into to bridge it into a, an Ethernet router, you will not want to be use this exact SFP because, uh, if you see on the label here, the transmit is on 1550 nanometers and the receive is on 1310 nanometers. The Genexis will be the other way around. So the transmit will be on 1310 and the receive will be on 1550. So if your FTTP provider is using this module in their switch, in their central network or cabinet, and you have exactly the same module in your house, they won't be able to talk to each other. You need the opposite way round for your house to transmit on the correct wavelength for the receive at the central cabinet. Anyway, hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.